you're very much going downward. Like you can mm. you can feel the kind of the tunnels kind of spiral around a bit. They definitely mm. move around like the outskirts of the city because this is how they light all the torches, right? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And how they kind of deal with the water and stuff like that. This is very much mm. utilities. Mm -hmm. um, as you move, you can slowly kind of pick up the sounds of evening traffic and kind of mm -hmm. the sort of the smell of tears heaven kind of wafts into your nostrils. We're coming back, yeah. Yeah, you're coming up on, you're definitely coming up on where they, at least where, probably where they like the sconces. Because mm -hmm. there's, this is a call back to case one where the mm -hmm. kobolds popped out and like lit the sconces and then came back. Mm -hmm. And like, this is how they go from day to night. Because you're basically in a cave in tier seven. Um, you're coming up on that now. Okay. And then you, both of the groups ahead of you are starting to slow. Cassius's group is is waiting. We are still following. We are still waiting. Mm -hmm. And Torment hoping the that there is that hoping that there is more haze to fuck up. Yeah, Torment Torment on the same logic. Effectively, I'm tracking these guys until we hit the end point, so the drop off, basically, mm -hmm. assuming that there's going to be a massive stat pile to destroy. Cool. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Make a perception check real quick. 23. 19. Cool. All right, so you can still hear them talking up ahead. You get the sense they're coming to the end, and you hear a third group. Who now hears this, a third group? Uh, I think, what would you get, 23 and a 19, right? 19. 23 and 19. I think you're both going to hear a third <coughs> group then. Okay. Um. Up ahead, this these lots seem a lot more relaxed. They seem like they've they are either in the process of making their drop or they have made their drop, and they're just kind of chilling. Okay. And can I is, hear? Can I hear Torment's group? Uh, you with a twenty-three, yeah. You can you can hear, you can just about hear Torment's group, but you can also tell okay. that they haven't been made. Okay. Can I see them? You can't you're in a separate tunnel, so you can't see them. Okay, so we're not out yet. You're not out yet, but you're approaching sort of the end. And you can hear the two groups ahead of you both starting to kind of dis disembark. I don't know. Is mm -hmm. that the right word for a tunnel? Mm -hmm. Leave the tunnel. You know, yeah, both yeah. start to leave the tunnel. Okay. Uh where is Nix? Nix kind of I can see through his eyes. Mm, okay, so he is Nyx is sort of zipping down through tunnels at the moment. Okay. So while the, while this is going on, I'm going to turn to my group and basically say, "Hoods up." Mm. I'm affect Tormund is still basically wearing the Lano outfit. He never got changed. Mm -hmm. So okay. at a visual glance, if I'm wearing a hood up, which I would have a hood up in these caves, mm -hmm. people probably wouldn't recognise me. Okay. So I, I, I'm hoping that at a, a passing glance, a group of us with me leading them in the right kind of clothing isn't going to get a second glance. I could possibly get as well by if we needed to. And okay. I do have other means if necessary. <laughs> okay. All right. No problem. No problem. All right. Cool. So all the group behind you put their hoods up. So are you moving in then, Torment? Or is this just before I do? Before I do, I'm actually going to cast Alter Self and make okay. myself look like a basically generic laborer. So, human lose the genasi markings effectively because if someone gets close enough, they're going to, they're going to, to spot that. So, I'm going to look more like a human and just sort of mm -hmm. slowly head towards to see if we can support what's going on as well. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so you come forward and your group come forward. You spot the two groups are next to the hole. Well, your group at least is next to a hole 
in the wall sconce. And they are kind of like basically feeding their crates through, attaching them to a winch, which is lowering them down somewhere. You're not sure where at the moment, but it's just lowering them down. And then you see them kind of climbing out one by one. Um, they don't spot you. Um, and the last one, as the last one goes down, the hole is still there. The winch is still in place. And you kind of got a so, clear way to the exit. I'm going to head over to the exit. We're not going to go out. I want to look around first, see if I can, and let chat, I'm going to let chat on look around, see if he can identify whereabouts we are in tier seven. Mm. Oh, rolling for Charles. <clears throat> okay. All right. So, what are you looking around for? Me, I'm as Tormund. I'm looking around for haze or chemicals to make haze or the production lines to make it as well. Just to work out: is this being used as a factory or just a storehouse? Okay. Well, in this in the tunnel area or like outside it? A- outside, so where the winch is. With where the winches and looking around the area around the winch and stuff. Cool. Okay. Uh, make a perception check for me. So Charon, mm. while you're doing this, then you're fourteen. Okay. So he looks out and he's like, I recognise this area. This is this is out near where the farms are, sort of. It's like right at the edge of the city. The farms go. The lane that leads to the farms runs just to our southeast. Okay. Maybe a street away. This is right on the outskirts where not many guards are looking. Makes sense then. I've done dealings around here. So, pretty out the way. Okay. Um, Tolman, you can smell that haze is being smoked around here. You can smell the production smells as well of the haze. Mm -hmm. And you can see um, basically you can see like by twos, these guys are like getting crates, loading them onto a beetle driven cart which is then being kind of covered over by a tarp and kind of made to look like like sort of fruit and veg and things. It's like a tarp okay. with with like fruit and veg like sewn into it. Yeah. Clever. The disguise in the shipments as food and rations to get into the city. Right. Okay. What do you reckon? <sighs> I think if we play it carefully, we might better sneak a bit further in. Hmm. There's enough bodies around. People are probably going to look twice at people in clubs walking back and forth in, the, in a factory of haze. Hmm. Okay. So at this point, um, Cassius Nix passes the silver coin, and he's he kind of comes up on you, and he's he seems a bit out of breath. I'm like, here, Mr. Valentine. You were supposed to go with Torment, you idiot. Oh, bugger. One moment. Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So as you're making your kind of infiltration plan, Torment, mm-hmm. you hear a little, a very, very tired little voice next to you go, Mr. Torment. Mr. Torment. Uh. Nix, you are... Uh, you are quite help. You might want to come up here and have to have a closer look and get a second opinion, but I would say we've hit a factory, not just a storage facility. Will you be okay? So far, so good. I've got everyone trying to blend in, cloaks up. I don't look like me, at least, anymore, so I should buy some time, but I want to get closer. Very well, next to me. Now, at this point, um, Cassius, what was happening with 
Tormund's group is essentially happening with your group. They're lowering yeah. stuff down by winch. They're... It seems like it's what going... About the, what about the second group, though? Because this is the thing that I've been thinking about. So we've got, we got potentially we can hit two or three. Mm. So <clears throat> your group and Tormund's group are both kind mm. of going down into the thing. The third group seems to be somewhere around there. Mm. Um, outside the hole. Okay. Now, Tormund, actually, you'll probably see a couple of them on the roof of a building. The winch, the like, the winches are leading, like, straight through holes in the roof. Right. Stuff has been taken out. Yeah. I can't is, see is this, like, you, you, you'll is see this well. third group far away? Like, what, what is the distance between... Let's call Tormund's group group one. Mm. My group is group two. And then we've got roof group group three. What what is the what what is the situation between two and three? So it seems like two have most of them have lowered themselves down through this hole in the roof and they're starting to load stuff onto another cart. Some mm. of group two are milling about with some of three on the roof who are starting to have a smoke of the mm. of the lover's haze. Enjoy like just skim a bit off the top. No one need mm. know. The rest of three are probably you would from what you can hear they're down in the building below mm. there's a lot of okay. kind of bawdy laughter they're not really trying to be quiet just like okay. bawdy laughter no one really on the roof it. inside the building okay on the roof they're a bit more slight because they're skimming but they're they're a bit high too though so they're not too alert so none none of these people are alert on the roof they're not... maybe they're not as alert as they could be. Okay. While this is going on, I'm telling Charon, we're going to go down. All right, got you. So I start having everyone file out. Mm -hmm. um, again, I will be at the head of the group just because I dress the most like a Delano person would be. Mm. And I don't kind of look like me. Um, I feel like I can probably blag my way through this if it comes to it. Okay. How many right. people are on the roof from that? There are... In group three, there are three people on the roof. In group two, there okay. are five people on the roof. So it's eight in total. So there are eight people on the roof? Yes. Okay. And I have seven people with me. Uh, you, are, you are a group of seven. You have six plus yourself. Yes, so, so you I have seven. six with me. Okay. No, I'm in the same boat. Yep. Okay. Uh, can I tell how many people are in the factory? Um, a ballpark make, would even be good. Uh, make a perception check. It was, it's horseshit, but luckily perception is okay. Fifteen. Okay, so you can make out. Okay. You can make out maybe like around 10, somewhere around 10 different voices okay. inside. Okay. And how could far be away more, is could this? Be less. They are about, I would say about 20 feet down is where the hole in the roof is. Uh huh. Where you drop through. Okay. And how far away is is uh, Tormund's men? Tormund's men are going to be about 30 feet to your left. Okay. Right. I'm going to... And how how long would it take half of my men to get to Tormund? Because um, I'm presuming that he can't get to the roof and I can so basically you can go out you, there are two separate holes in the roof where you can both drop yeah. through oh now, so we can both you, get to the roof yeah you would ask, you would guess that they've gotten to the roof by kind of just hopping off at the right moment okay and how long is it going to take nick roof. to get there onto the roof i need to get i need to get nick's to torment oh well i mean getting nick's to torment would be as easy as yeah Flying out of the hole, flying across the Tormund. Okay. So off we go to Nyx. Off we go to Tormund. Nyx. Okay, Tormund. So, 
I can hear about ten people inside. I can see eight people out there. I have six, you have six. I think I can take top boys quite easily. And quite silently as well. I think we need to. We take them. One. We take them nice and silently. I can take my boys through the whole of the roof. Then we take the final bit. What's happening with group one? They Group one, you would guess are inside. They're, okay, they're so group... like loading up. That's gotcha. Okay. We don't, so we don't now, need now to we're now we're at one, roof. two, three is all in the same place. We've got mm. two on the top. Okay. We don't. Need I would to take out the guys on the roof. I will take out the guys on the roof. We will drop in through the roof, and we will. They're smoking the there. haze. They're not paying attention. No one's why paying start attention. A fight? Yeah, then why start a fight? We don't need to. Get inside. Burn the place down. Get out. The confusion covers us. Still does the same jack damage. Puts they may not be place. paying attention, but fire will sober them up. I'm sure it will, but they'll be too busy trying to save, to save the product. Trust me, the Dolanas will not like a burning factory, and trying to deal with us is not going to be a priority if it means that the, the haze goes up in smoke, especially a production facility. Let me get some boys on the roof. In fact, no. I tell my boys to go to, to think about Tormund. Mm, all of them? Yep. Okay. Okay, that's going to take a little bit because they've got to move back to that we've got, we've got. I, I think we've got time. I think we've got time at the moment there. I'd rather, I'd rather move now while we know who's on the roof and we know they're smoking haze. Long Very well. They, they, they can do it. So, are you going to jump on the roof? Or are you going to go through the door? I'm, my plan is to just ride the thing down. I have no intention of getting off at the roof. I'm just going to act as if we are a crew coming to move haze. That's why I've got everyone hoods up as if we've been. Okay, through the right. I'm going to send. I'm going to send my boys to go through the door because they're going to take a while. By then, Tormund's boys are going to get there. I'm going to jump on the roof now and have a little chat with the you know, boys up there with my little necklace. Mm. I'm pretty sure I've still got some haze, actually. You might have. do. I'm pretty sure I've got some haze somewhere. Mm. I don't think you ever got it. I think you took it ages ago when we were dealing with the haze thing on on six. I've got I've got some old haze. Yeah. Mm. You got. You might have some of the good stuff as well. I've yeah, got some of the pure you, shit. They don't. Yeah, would, we got it from the um, tea shop. On the yeah. Six. This, mm. is, this is this is before this like is the premium before stuff. We did like. Obelisk stuff and nameless one and yeah. stuff like that. I've got, I've got some primo shit in my in my bag that I've yeah, been smoking when, occasionally. Actually, this is when the, this is when we were dealing with like the, they weren't flooding the market as it were with okay. like, quality. It was all high end. Right. Allow me to engage with the roof men, and then you can go through. Fine. I'll have my men go through the door at your order. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so Nix, you'll go. go with yeah. my men. <clears throat> yes, Mr. Valentine. All right, so I mean, Nix is probably going to meet. Well, well, probably yeah, yeah whatever. <clears throat> so your men start going back um, mm. to the double back where uh, Tormans are. Meanwhile, Cassius, you probably head down onto the roof. I'm going to head down onto the roof and and be just a generic. I'm going to be a generic red shirt. Okay. Shin-a-n-a-n-a-n. Okay, you're going to be Welshy. Yeah, I'm okay. going to be Welshy. All right. All right. Uh, I'm going to. I'm no, going to, no, no, no. It's going to be Ensign Ricky. Ensign Ricky. I'm going to skin up. I'm going to skin up. Okay. And enjoy the good shit. All right. I love my job. <laughs> okay. Well, there are chaps on the roof, of course. They're all kind of like... They're supposed to be keeping watch, you think, but they're not really keeping watch. They're just sort of chilling out. They have rifles. Mm-hmm. But they're... They're not really bothered. Yeah. Actually, how, how switched on are they? Is anyone... Nice night. Switched on? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sneak up. I'm just going to, like... Good night for Hayes. Mm. Yeah, 
It's always a good night for Haze. Always. Especially tonight, though. <laughs> Look at the stars. Yeah. That's the best thing about this this one, this place. It's near the mouth of the cave. You can see the stars. You can see all the, all the islands floating around. Occasionally a farm girl or two. Are you smoking the new stuff? I'm a smoke. Uh, no, no, don't tell no one. I'm just, I'm taking. No, but this is the. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. By the way, while he's doing this, my guys are going to get on the winch and start riding it down. Right, and you're going first. Hang. Okay? Yeah. Okay. You don't have any of the legacy. Hayes. Oh, well, that's not for us, man. That's not for us. That's for. You know. We can smoke as much well, of this stuff as we want. For free. I enjoy it on my own then. Well, you got some. Can you not smell it? Nice old wave it around. Oh, I don't know why. Just keep it still. Keep it still. Oh, yes. Oh, that's very rosy, that. Oh. Where'd you get that? Shall we roll, gentlemen? For more. Indeed I do. And I just I I just let the rest all of the rest of my haze fall in front of them. Okay. Um that gets a lot of their attention. And mm. they they start moving over to you. As you start rolling, torment. You oh, I'm not rolling. They're rolling. As they're rolling. I'm looking for this guy, so I'm not too high yet. Mm -hmm. I understand I will be high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going well, forward. Well, Tormund, at this point, you've dropped through the hole. Yeah. A few of your guys have followed you. Um, It's about to... So uh, probably about half your guys are down at this point. Okay. So at the bottom... Wait. So there's sort of a kind of burly looking sort of dwarf. Oi. You. What group are you? New hires from Mrs. Delano. Checking up on the place. AK deception check. Perfect. Yeah, that's 25. <laughs> okay, nice. All this right. is what Tormund is good at, by the way. Nice. This is why I'm playing it like this. She knows she she knows she doesn't have to do that. You do know that faux break is causing shit all over the city, right? Uh, 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 what the nothing. fuck is that? What the fuck do you think you're doing? You do know your boys on the roof are high as shit on the haze right now, right? Ah. Uh, Mrs. Delano. Yes. Apparently, she has concerns about some of the existing help in the family. So she thought she'd branch out and get some new hands. Uh, okay. Intimidation there with advantage. That's a 19. We can, we can, we, right, what, what do we do about it? What do, you, what do you want? Get him off the roof. What do you want? Please, please, please tell me you're not in charge of the security of this place. I'm, I'm, I mean, I just transport. I'm, I'm group, I'm group two. Okay, fine. Where's it? Where's the, where's the overseer? Uh, he's in the office. Take me uh, there, that way, please. Uh, right, yeah, yeah. Come this way. Come this way. Uh, who are you, start... are you taking people with? So yeah, I'm going to take my group minus Charon with okay. me, but I'm going to turn to Charon and say, "You, I want you to go and fucking inspect those production lines because if that's the state on the roof, I don't trust these fuckers by the production either." Yeah. 
Hey, with you. Can I, can I hear any of this? I'm intentionally being very loud, by the way. Make a, uh, can they hear this is the question up top. Um, so, yeah, uh, Cassius, make a uh, uh, little, little perception check. Actually, your passive perception is probably pretty fucking high, like the guys on the roof. Uh, passive is, is 10 plus, is it? It's, it's 10 plus. It's usually 10 plus, your mod is uh, 21 then. Yeah, you can hear this. Yeah. You can hear this. And okay. Some of the, like, so a couple of the guys on the roof kind of frown at it but the rest of them are rolling they're busy rolling yeah the other two are kind of the, probably like yeah like two or three of them are kind of like frowning like can you hear that is it not good enough would you like some more I, I we were just we were just listening we were just listening to that what um are you not on a break I didn't know I was dealing with squares Oh my god. All right. Um, make a uh, persuasion, probably. 24. What? What you say? You're not dealing with any fucking squares, mate. Gentlemen, gentlemen, relax. I will go see what's going on. Save me some. And I'll be back. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> save me. Oh, uh, well. we'll save you a rolly. We'll save you a yeah. couple of rolling. Very well, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the moon. Enjoy the stars. And I mm -hmm. I go down I go down. Okay. Cool. Alright, are you going down the same way as everyone else? Mm -hmm. Or are you alright, cool. Okay. Before we as we're walking off, do I see him coming down? Well, you don't. You just see just a random dude coming down. True. Because I, I changed, I changed change into That's fine. the normal boy. Yeah. yeah. Cool. No worries. Uh, Nyx could tip him off because you have Nyx. Absolutely, yeah. Coming down. Mm -hmm. Don't look the same. Need to change. No problem. I look back to spot who's coming down. Mm-hmm. And I saw, I immediately go, right, stop. What? And I just point, I point at the guy on the uh, winch, him here now. Fuck. Couldn't whistle. Like, shit. He whistles <laughs> and. Oh, you, on the winch. Okay, I'll come over a little bit, fucking stumbling. Mm -hmm. I grab him by the arm and put him to one side. So we're not within earshot of this guy. I start shouting at first. What the fuck do you think you're doing on that roof, smoking while on duty? And sort of like, as we get around, the, we get sort of. Out I go. Of you way. need. You need to let my hand go, Tottenham, because I'm gonna. <laughs> Just trying to sell the bit. That's all. As we're at, once we're sort of out of eyesight, I let go. Actually, could you give me a bit of a slap? I will do one way out. No, I would do it now. I'm okay. At which point, I just full on open palm slap him across the face. Mm -hmm. You take a point of damage. Uh... Fair enough. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> this was meant to be a montage. <laughs> you know, it's what, got, it's you know a what montage. We're, you know what we're like. <laughs> we'll, we will montage the other ones. All right. <laughs> I thought like this was quite an interesting. <clears throat> I'm sorry, yeah. sir. Sorry, sir. Um, I was just trying my best, sir. You were meant to be on the production line, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll get straight back, sir. Good. I, as you sort of, I then on the quiet. Oh, this is going to be funny. This got very bright. There we go. There we go. On the quiet. Charon's on his way there. When you, if if you hear any sounds of fighting, burn it to the fucking ground. Very well. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, then. sir. Sixpence full, sir. Yes. Uh, as I start walking back up the door, I'm like, this fucking operation is a piece of shit. I swear to God, Mr. Lionel is going to have your fucking head for this if she finds out. Best, but, come on. Overseer now. It might just save your fucking life, mate. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'd like so, to follow them if possible. 
Uh, yourself or with Nyx? Uh, well, Nyx is still with... with, with Nyx uh, came down with me. Yeah. Mm, okay. So I'm going to keep him with him. I'm, I'm going to be a bit of, bit of distance. I don't know what Overseer is going to be like, so... Mm. Okay. Off I go into stealth mode to try and assist, should need be. Okay. Cool. All right. So you're like hanging in the shadows, basically. Mm-hmm. And creeping. Make creeping around. Check. Make stealth check. Indeed. 18 plus a billion. Uh, 13. Okay. So, um, you... You disappear into the shadows. Meanwhile, Torment, um, the office of this building is what used to be like a dining room, you would guess. I mean, this used to be like a fairly large sort of, not like a manor house or anything, but just like a large-ish sort of big kind of family house. Um, and the, uh, the overseer is, is inside. Okay. Now the overseer is um, the overseer kind of fills one side of quite a large table. Um, you I'm see, sort of yeah. I don't introduce myself. I walk up to the table and I start just grabbing the paper work on the table and looking at it. What? So the, the overseer is a very large figure. You suspect a Goliath. Oh, goodness. But almost as, as wide as he is tall, which is really freaking big. Mm-hmm. Think, the think kingpin. Right. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. <laughs> Cassius think, think, Webb. I, I, I now think of Daredevil because of kingpin from Netflix. Anyway, <laughs> um... What are you doing? Inspection. Mr. Delano's orders. Mr. Delano? Mr. Looks- Delano, yeah. He looks at the dwarf. He looks very sheepish. A conception check. Uh, 22. Okay. And what does Mr. Delano want? We're considering the shit that Fobreak is causing around the city, making sure the, the holdings are secure. Which, by the way, your guards on the roof are smoking the fucking product. I know. Uh, and why are they doing that? It's shit product. There's too much of it. Wonderful. Your they guards skip. should not be high when there is a fucking threat of an attack. This is the first time hearing about a threat of an attack. Fobreaker has been fucking up businesses across the city. Do you really think they're not going to come looking for the haze in this location? He's got friends on seven. Hmm. Well, if he cares about seven, we've got all our sight lines ready. Really? Oh, yeah. All of them. Uh huh. That's why again, half of your body got your guards on the roof are smoking the product and the high as shit. I doubt they hit the broad side of the fucking building we're sitting in right now, considering they're high. Rifles might look pretty on the back of people, but if they can't fucking shoot straight, they're pretty worthless. For people down here, rifles are a pretty handy deterrent. However, I will agree with you that uh. Against someone like Fobreaker, this is going to be a a mighty larger threat. Which is why this place is trapped to the gills. You may get past the boys on the roof, but once he gets inside, he's mincemeat. You do know about Fobreaker, right? You do know what he's done so far in the city? I know, I know the man can't spot a trap to save his damn life. <laughs> yeah, and when was the last time that seemed to have stopped him? How close can I get to this Goliath? Uh, I am being intentionally very obnoxious, by the way. <laughs> getting 
inside. I mean, I don't know if you could get inside the room. I mean, no, I don't, I don't. Not necessarily in the room. He can be sort of outside the room and like listening in, probably. Such a long spell to fucking write. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's not what I wanted at all. That's also not what I wanted. Uh, no, no, don't worry about that. Ten feet. How dare you? How fucking dare you, prestidigitation? Ten feet, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, shame. Hmm. I'm All just right. getting whited out on this fucking call at the moment. There we <laughs> are. Much better. All right. All is right. there a guard outside? Um, there Can is. Can I get uh, within ten feet of someone who is going to talk to Mister Goliath? <coughs> sure. Yeah, I mean, I there is a guard to, outside. I, I want to cast press the digitation on them for a burning smell. Oh, okay. All right. We well, make want to make them smell like burning. Or just no, no. Smell. I want them to smell. Want them to smell burning. burning. Okay. Well, you can cast that probably on something like you probably cast it like on their shirt, and then they would smell burning. Yeah. Smell yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. This is a, a half orc guarding. Is there anyone else? No, just a half orc. Okay. Grax, you better not be fucking around with the, the haze over there. And you hear someone that? calling back. <laughs> Good. You hear someone calling back. No, of course not, you fuck it. But you don't hear that. And the, the Goliath sort of narrows his eyes. What on earth is happening out here? And you see him kind of waddle over to the door past you. I must say, I'm not being filled with fucking confidence right now. Oh, if someone is screwing around, we, we know exactly how to deal with them. The Goliath opens the door. Okay. Am I, am I near him? Uh, if you're within 10 feet of the guard, you'll be within 10 feet of the Goliath. Okay, I want him to smell blood. <sighs> yeah, you can do that because it's three effects. You can stack three effects. It's, yeah, it's three three effects anytime. What the hell's happening out here? The, the orcs are burning. Something's burning. And then between them, I want to just, I just want to, because uh, you can do sounds and everything, right? You can do yeah. just, like, this is all sensory stuff. I just want them to hear, please no, in an echo. But the no gets cut off. Oh, I need to check that. I think you so can do that. I'm pretty sure the, you can the do descript that. The description of it, because I'm looking at it, so I have it as well. You can create an instantaneous, harmless sensory effect. Yeah, it so, does say such as, but it doesn't specify what, as long as it's harmless and sensory. I can't see. Yeah, why not. well, sensory effects. Please, so yeah, you can please hear it. No. Please no. Yeah, excellent. Yes, excellent. They their heads both snap up. There we are, ladies, gentlemen, bodies of water. That's how they use prestidigitation in a cool way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their heads both snap up into the. So you've made it kind of sound like it's coming from a direction. Echoey. Echo, yeah, yeah, yeah. not sure, yeah. not sure. Undetermined. Get your boys on that. And the orc. What the fuck is going on? Gotta find out what the hell's going on. Seems like we came at the right fucking time then. <sighs> Tell you what, you stay here, organize your boys. I'll take mine and go inspect the fucking production line because I'm pretty sure that is what they're concerned about. Oh, God damn it! Fine. You go with them. 
says to the dwarf. The dwarf, who, who you've intimidated quite thoroughly, is not too happy about it, but he does. Is, yes, all right, I'll go with him. Yes, boss. Yep. So the Goliath lumbers off, and the dwarf sort of sticks around near you, like this way, this way to the. Thank you. The stuff. Um, so you can hear the sort of hustle and bustle and general confusion going on with all these men. But the Hayes production facility is very much um, not quite unattended because Charon's there, along with a lot of the a lot of your boys. Um, is the is the office unattended? The office is unattended. Yeah. Okay. Can I just set it alight with some gunpowder? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Because they I've haven't my, seen you. Yeah. I've so got you my pistols. Go straight I've got my pistols. I've got gunpowder. I'll sprinkle nice. it on the table. <laughs> nice. All right. So, yep. So the paperwork, it all gets set alight. The desk is set alight. Before long, the room is like engulfed, beginning to be engulfed in flames, and you sort of saunter out, probably. Mm. Um, meanwhile, in the haze area, um, there is several vats of very foul smelling haze obviously they're making the shit version here mm -hmm. to remind me it's very flammable yes Extreme oh yeah flammable. good 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 mm -hmm. so you know, how many Tolman knows this yeah how many non charons group are in the area uh, there's a few sort of so there's a few kind of production <laughs> kind of production workers, but they're in, like, in Delano gear. There's a few people who are, like, car who are meant to be carrying boxes. I'm going to just check them. They are carrying on with their work. Um, they're, they're sort of torn between, like, well, they're, they're dealing with that, so we'll, we'll just continue on. And particularly the production workers are just, like, just keep going, just keep making the haze. Because we, if there's an inspector here, we don't want to be seen to not be not be doing our jobs. So we're just going to continue on doing what we're doing. I don't know what this is. Just we're 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 blowing the horn of the trucks. We're driving. <laughs> what the fuck do you all think you're doing? Working, working on the haze. Work, doing doing our jobs. Wonderful. If we weren't potentially under attack, go fucking find them. Well, we should we should guard this, right? What do you think I'm here for, fucking genius? You know, with all due respect, do you really think you're going to stop somebody who comes here to do some damage? Uh, so the other ones roll as well. Make a. Uh... What is that going to be? I feel like that's deception. That is a twenty-five. Okay. Yeah, they they so the the people who are like carrying crates are like it's probably right. And they're the production guys look at each other like Yeah, right, yeah, we should let's go, let's go. Leave them here. And they, they kind of scurry out. So assuming now it's just us then, right? Pretty much. Yep. Which one I turn around to where turn around to everyone here. Gentlemen, burn it the fuck down. All right. Now, I'm going to cast the light cantrip next to the office, like as a flash. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Like as like to draw people's attention to the flaming office. Absolutely. All right. Let's see whose attention you draw. Oh, you do draw some attention. Some of the workers actually have just come out of the out of the thing. Spot this going on they see the smoke coming out of the office and they run over here you hear some of the movement kind of and general chaos kind of moving across toward the office things are just absolutely chaotic and very confused in there while this is going on I'm having every one of the group just start lighting torches and putting it to the boxes and just chucking it into the vat and chucking it into the vats uh, okay Okay. I'm, I tend to, I tend to not just burn to the fucking ground level. 
I'm okay. nothing left. At which point, as soon as they're in there, it's, gentlemen, time to fucking run. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to need you all, then, or need both of you, to make... Could, could, could I do something fun? <laughs> Should be good. What would Is you everyone a bit home? scared at the moment? I mean, everyone who, like, all the Delano people are... I don't know about scared, but they're just like confused and kind of running around. And okay, um, so this is what I'd like to do, Matt. Okay. Tell me if that's stupid. Um, so the the office is up, correct? It, well, it's no, it's the ground floor. Oh, is there anywhere where I can get up? Winches. You where you can get up to the roof? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna fall through the roof. Um, I'd like to feather fall to the ground. Okay. okay. So you're climbing my... up and then feather falling down. Yeah, falling. Yep. Uh, so after I did the after I did the burning of the office, I'm going to climb up. Okay. I'm I'm going to then feather fall from the office, but using my bonus action, invoking a shielding aura, which makes me quite shiny. Yeah. I'd like to fall through the roof, um, and then how can I make my how can I make this even more terrifying? How can I make this even more terrifying? While he's thinking about that, Carl, I need you yeah. to make me either an athletics or an acro- or an acrobatics check. Yep. To GTFO. <laughs> it's an eighteen. It's athletics. It was eighteen. Okay. Sorry, it was an acrobatic. Sorry, it was eighteen. Okay. Right. Cool. Uh, Cassius, what? So you're booking it now because you know, you know this. Stuff. Oh, you're yeah, bubbling. You Boom. know. It's oh, gonna... what, is everyone leaving? Then I don't actually need to do what I wanted to do. Oh, I, I was just going to. Te- I was just going to try and terrify everyone, but I could just. I've basically cleared the area and production out, and I'm oh. blowing the vats up. There, there, All right, but... I'm going then. Needless I've to just, say. I've, Make it make it an athletics or acrobatics check. Needless to say, oh, right. they're going to be very very scared in about four seconds. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can do that. If they're not going to be very very dead. Plus fifteen plus acrobatics, uh, uh, nineteen. Okay. Right. Cool. So. Uh, okay. Let's uh, roll some of these. Okay, I mean that's that's okay. That's not bad at all. That's not bad. Okay, you know what? Let's let's do a couple more because this is bad haze. It's not as pure as as good that's the haze. shit that I was giving out. No, so you've got you've got a bit of time. So I'm going to need you both to roll me three d sixes. You both get out. Uh, do, do you need the the thing of each of them were just total. Total. Uh, Thirteen. I got a six, a six, and a one. <laughs> crit, crit, fail. <laughs> okay. And I got twelve, five, four, and three. Okay. Right. Good. So this is the the speed of which your guys are like. Are you going back up to the roof, or are you just getting out anyway? I'm booking out the front door. Well, front door. all of my guys are with Carl now. I've right, given, so, I, I gifted my guys to Carl. I, I'm, so I'm, I'm basically having everyone book it towards the front door, and then if there's a wagon on the way, grab the wagons to haul ass. Cool. All right. And then um, Cassius. Either way. Well, I'm going to get out on the roof, and I'm just going to I'm going to jump over and just see what's going on. I know I can get away, but I need to see that all the guys are cool. off. All right. Well, uh, was it twelve and thirteen? So. Yeah. Um, respectively so we'll we'll just take the the 13th so five seconds after your guy the last of your guys gets out of the building there is a whoomp and set and like just a and then basically the 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 factory explodes taking a number of people with them um i need you both to make con saves because a wave of gas comes straight at you Con is not my fave. Con is one of mine. mine. <laughs> it's a 22 for me. 
That's a nine for me. A nine for you? Okay. Yeah, I have a plus one on con, and I got I've eight. Got, I've got a plus six. Oh, dear. Okay, so... Get, could take... I maybe do a deck save? That would be a plus eight. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to backflip out of the way of the gas. Well, you're going to take, then, 16, 17 points of poison damage. Oh, goodness. Because this is very, very noxious gas. Um, but you have, but uh, when you look behind you, as your eyes are kind of, oh Jesus, yeah, you see that this place is just, it's like a smoking skeleton of a building. I see people melting in that gas. You, there's, you see a lot, like anyone who was, oh, you just took their cart. So as you're booking it away, you see like Delano's like, <laughs> they may have gotten very high before they. Before they expired, they, they died that's happy. good. Fiery. They died happy. That's good. Yeah, I, they I, sort of into, I, I turn around. I turn around, looking at the explosion, as all turned to the group. Went. I may have misjudged the size of the boom. <laughs> ah, well, that's fine. <coughs> well, on that note, um, part one it's supposed of to be a montage. It was supposed <laughs> to be a montage. We were supposed to do all three of them. In one We've been second, here for 90 minutes. Which wasn't going to take 90 minutes, but... It's not going to happen. We've done one of them, so that's great. Okay, <laughs> so part one of the chaos has two. been... Well, part one of Parabellum. Part one of the chaos montage yeah. has been complete. Yeah. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, welcome to the new subs. And um, we'll have we'll have lots more stuff. This we're probably going to split this one in two. Um, Probs. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> yeah, otherwise it's going to be through. a nightmare to edit. Um, mm -hmm. There will be more interviews coming up. Probably more alchemist toolkit videos at some point. We don't know. We don't really have a schedule. We just kind of do whatever. We just we just go wild. We just we, we just go we we go white girl wild so we'll just fucking do it live we'll do it live do it live we'll be right on the night so yeah if you haven't subbed uh go ahead and sub like the video um smash share it. it smash smash buttons do, do the smashing like the smash button you can find me at matt waterhouse author on mines apparently I, i've just turned into a alabaster person look at me jesus christ i'm just washed out <laughs> i'm on there somewhere but currently my camera is... No, don't worry. Carl, you're not on there, are you? Nope, still not. No. So, see you all next time. Peace.